used to have people ask us questions like, could you take a picture of Adam and Eve? And the answer, you know, this is 40 years ago, the answer then, you could take a picture, you couldn't get it developed anywhere. Seminex was the result of an accusation that 45 of 50 faculty members were teaching heresy. You guys are throwing your lives down the toilet. Uh, that, uh, you know, you've spent all this time, you're not going to get a call in the, in the Missouri Synod. We were loyal sons and daughters of this Missouri Synod. It, it was not an impact, it was absolutely revolutionary. Uh, it totally redefined my vocation, totally redefined my view of the Holy Catholic Church and changed my life forever. And I can remember going out of the house and saying to my wife, if I vote to stand with the students, we're going to lose everything. Is that okay? And she said, do what you have to do. I got fired by the acting president for not being willing to accept his leadership and go back into the classroom. I wouldn't wish this experience on anyone else and I would not have missed it. I don't think um, that I could ever forgive Jacob Price. God forgive me for saying that. On February 19, 1974, students and faculty at the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod's St. Louis Concordia Theological Seminary marched through the campus quadrangle, out the doors of an institution, church body, and well-established educational system and into self-described exile. It's a story that has roots that begin in the 19th century when a debate arose over biblical interpretation. Known as the historical critical method, it had torn apart many Protestant churches by the early 20th century. Were Adam and Eve real people? Was Jonah actually swallowed by a fish? Or did ancient authors reflect their own historical situation when addressing the people of their time and place? For Missouri Synod Lutherans, the full impact of these theological debates and culturally conservative versus more modern worldviews came to a head decades after other church bodies had divided and drifted apart. The debate ruptured the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod at a time of vast American cultural and social upheaval. Vietnam, the Civil Rights Movement, and Watergate. For many students, faculty, administrators, and Lutherans throughout North America, the events in St. Louis took a personal toll. The walkout would divide families, split congregations, and have a lasting impact on the future of the church.